girls are on spring break, so we are checking out a new place that the girls may have not been. This is the Discovery Center in Murfreesboro. Colin has been quite a few times. He comes here a lot with the babysitter while we are filming the TikTok toy on Saturdays. So he's showing Addie, Maya, and myself around. They have a giant water table here. We had a fun water table when the girls were little. We haven't had one in a few years and it's making me think maybe it's time to get another water table for the backyard once it warms up a little bit because all three of them are having fun in it. You gotta follow Colin! Colin's leading the way. Where do you think he's taking us? Let's go find out! I just had a bunch of fans come up to me and they wanted wristbands. I was taking them out, but I lost the kids in the process and they ran off and I don't know where they went. I'm hoping they're downstairs. Let's see. Maybe they went down the slide. The slide's here. Where did they go? Did they go down the slide? Ha! Ah, Maya! You got Colin! Where's Addie? I'm here! <laughs> I was looking for you guys. What do you feel in there? What are the furry? Something furry? It's an animal skin. An animal skin? Why did I cut I love going to visit children's museums, science centers, and places like this because it's like there are so many opportunities to learn some really cool things for the kids. And of course, sometimes I feel like we just spend the entire time chasing the kids around and they're playing from one thing to the next and we leave and I wonder if we even learn anything. Coloring. So I don't know if we need a better process or some better routine for some of these places. Maybe we need a do a little bit of research beforehand and use a supplement. I don't know, I feel like there's gotta be a way to make these experiences more meaningful than sometimes I feel like they are. I'm ironing clothes. You're ironing clothes, Maya? Yes. And Addie's doing laundry? You know what, I think you should do this in real life, not just pretend. Yeah. What do you think? He's taking his job very seriously. Oh, there's a smile. Looks like they have a nice outdoor area here, so I think we're gonna sit outside and eat our lunch and take a break from some of the chaos that is inside right now. You want some grapes? Your grapes open, Colin? Oh! Okay, kiddos, so we've been here about an hour and a half. Have we learned anything from the I Discovery Center. What did you learn? Don't take bugs from this pond. Don't take bugs from the pond. Okay. So, yeah. Did you learn anything, Addy? No, not really. No. <laughs> I learned how to oh. make a car. Okay. Kind of. Okay. I think we all have to agree that we're going to learn something really cool before we leave. Oh, and Colin. So, we're not here just to play. we got to learn something. Can we do that? Yeah. So far, Colin learned to not cut in lines. <laughs> At the slide? <laughs> yeah. Like, if someone was going, and he just was like, let me go, and we caught him before he went down the slide. That's true. Those social skills are very important to learn. But let's learn some educational things, too. Uh, um, what, Maya? What else? What did you learn so far? Water's dirty. Oh, Addie. Oh, you know what I saw, actually? I actually did read by the water table area that only, like, points, I don't want to get my fat wrong, fat wrong. Like point, like zero three percent of water is actually usable. I probably have that wrong. But it's a very, very small part of water in the world that's actually like usable for drinking. Oh my. We are the Discovery Center 
sits on 20 acres of natural wetlands, so we're gonna go explore a little bit outside and check out some of the critters that hopefully we can find here. I heard they have um, like muskrats, I've seen some frogs, and a couple really pretty birds. Let's see other things. I think river otters too, that'd be cool to see a river otter. Wow. We, we, we could walk on that. That's not what you would think if you stepped on that. That is not land. Ow. <laughs> That's it not land. It's on top of water. It's yep. They're floating on top. Yes, you look at this water covered with all sorts of stuff. So this is still water. <laughs> it is. I thought it was grass. <laughs> Flip grass. Wow, Flip this is really pretty. Yeah. Let's see if we can learn something from this right here. So we're at Murphy Spring. So beneath our feet is a vast system of caves <laughs> and aquifers. Okay. Formed in layers of limestone. And there are sinkholes and springs as well. We found a slide right there. A we slide? Oh, that is like a little slide. I don't think it's a slide to play on. <laughs> it's so weird. It looks like you can just like walk right out onto it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You would think. <laughs> I think it's quick. It's quick grass then. <laughs> quick grass, not quick sand. Quick grass. Quick grass. <laughs> like a beaver's dam or something. I don't know if it is, uh -huh. but it looks kind of neat. So it says that a wetland is a land that's continuously or seasonally wet. And it's usually a transitional area between a dry land and deeper water. It's what? estimated that about 150 individual turtles live in this 20 acres of wetland. And I think we saw about 10 of them. So we saw a good percentage of the turtles in the wetland today. Do you guys see some of the dead trees out there? There's lots of dead trees. Apparently ash trees, they need periods of dryness so that their feet can basically, the bottom of the trees can basically breathe. And without that, they can't exchange gases. And so they're currently dying because there's not enough dryness in this wetland for them. Okay, kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah. All right, well I think we've actually learned something now from the wetlands area. So we're gonna go back inside now and probably have some more fun before it's time to head home. getting an exam. This is exactly how you use the tools, but okay. <laughs> Pediatrician's office. Yeah. Now you checking the x-rays. How does his hand look? This is it healthy. Is it healthy? Yeah. Good. museum has a nice tiny pot area for kids two to five where they can just kind of roam and they're contained in an area, they can't escape, and it has a lot of cute buildings it's like a mini town. All right, have you guys had fun here? Mm -hmm. And Colin's showing us around for a good time. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit younger than we were thinking for you girls, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I did some research and there's a really cool park, like a mile from you. Wanna go check it out? Yeah! It's called Kids Castle. The slides look humongous, so let's do that. The slide, those are crazy slides. All right, I think I saw Addie going down the slide. Let's see. Oh, there's Colin and Maya. And Addie. <laughs> You're making a video? I am. Although we all had a great time at the Discovery Center, I could tell that Addie and I were maybe a tad bit disappointed, um, just because we had a children's museum in Phoenix that was just out of this world. It's hard to compare anything to, and the Discovery Center was maybe a little bit young, more for Colin's age kids. So when I looked up this park and I saw it online, I knew that this would be a fun thing to do afterwards. The best thing about this park is that there is a fence all the way around it. it is Close, the kids can run free. They are loving it. Colin is being so brave. He's going on these big slides by himself. And I'm just so happy to see all the kids getting some energy out and having a good time. Is that you up there? 
you know, Addie, I was wondering where you are. I was watching Colin. I just figured she's climbing something. What could she be climbing? And sure enough, there you are. <laughs> Are we stuck, Colin? You're stuck. If you're on spring break too, we hope you're having a great one. We'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Tic Tac Toy!